One of the best ways to keep your crypto safe and secure is to use a hardware wallet such as a Ledger or Trezor. In this lesson, we'll talk more about the importance of cold storage for holding crypto, as well as walk through the process of setting up a hardware wallet. So in this lesson today, we're gonna to be covering the Ledger Nano S or the Ledger Nano X. Trezor is another very popular brand, which I could also recommend. Uh, whichever one you choose, it's really personal preference. But the key thing to take away from this is that when you have a Ledger hardware device, essentially you're gonna have your same private key, your same 24 word seed phrase, but you're going to need the device in order to interact with the wallet. So in the instance that you wanted to send somebody some funds, you would need to connect the device to your computer or smartphone via Bluetooth, and then you'd be able to use the keys on the actual device to sign the transaction. So it's an extra layer of security. It's a term known as cold storage. Essentially, your funds are held completely offline. There's no contact with the internet. So there is an added level of security behind using a hardware wallet. And I always recommend it, especially for users who want to simply set and forget their funds. You know, they just want to dollar cost average and not have to worry about thinking of the price going up and down. They're in it for the long run. They just want to set it and forget it. Cold storage is definitely the most secure way to go about holding crypto. So would recommend you check out Ledger as it's one of my favorites. Let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at the computer. So what I have here, this is going to be especially for Ledger in this lesson today. Uh, in order to get started, after you have your Ledger device, uh, we'll need to go to ledger.com forward slash start. I will be sure to leave the links which we're talking about here today in the video description. So make sure you check that out. These are the official links. Uh, this is going to prompt you to download the Ledger Live application. So Ledger Live is the portal, so to speak, into your Ledger device, basically giving you an overview of the different assets, allowing you to install different applications, depending on what cryptos you'd like to put on the device uh, and so on and so forth. So go ahead and download that. What we'll do is click on download. We'll choose our operating system. You'll go through the process of uh, opening up the application. Once you have the application download, this is what we're gonna be prompted with. So this is the main page. We've got the option to get started uh, or we can just simply buy a Ledger Nano X directly from the Ledger Live application. Uh, so we've already got our device here in this case. So the device is gonna come with a few different things. First off, you're gonna have the device itself. You've got a cable to connect it to your computer as well as some materials to write down your seed phrase. So just a couple copies of paper uh, and then just basically like a get started guide. So what we'll do in this case first off is go ahead and click on get started. We'll need to select our device. So we've got the option to choose Ledger Nano S Nano S Plus or the Ledger Nano X. For this video today, I'm using the Nano S Plus. Uh, let's go ahead and click on select. So first time using your Nano S Plus or already have a recovery phrase. So if you've already got your wallet set up and you simply wanna use it with a different computer, you can choose already have a recovery phrase. But in this video, we're going through this process together from scratch. So I'm starting from square one. We're gonna click on first time using your Nano S Plus. And then this gives us an overview of some of the basics about using the Ledger device. So we're just gonna go through this, uh, clicking on continue. Uh, so again, talking about cold storage, this is really valuable in the instance where you wanted to make sure you have the most secure storage for your crypto. This is completely offline. Uh, so I would recommend a cold storage wallet, Ledger or Trezor, both great options. Let's go ahead and go through this here, let's do it. All right, so the best way to get started, so we're gonna need a few minutes to get this done, grab a pen to write with, and then you wanna make sure that you're not in a public place, you're also not using any public Wi-Fi. This is something you wanna do in the privacy of your own home, making sure that uh, you know, you're know you only in the room yourself, you're not having your friends nearby looking over your shoulder or stuff like that. This is something very secure, making sure that you are in that environment, you're good to go. Let's go ahead and click on I'm ready. So the best way to get started is to first turn on the device, browse the different applications, set up a new device, and follow the instructions. So we're gonna go exactly through that process here today. So what I've got is my cable connected to my computer. What I'm gonna do is plug in my device like so. And it says, welcome to the Ledger Nano S Plus, right button to continue. 
So it says download Ledger Live at the website, which we just discussed previously. So then let's press right, use buttons to navigate menus and lists. So it's very straightforward in terms of how you would use this device. You would simply follow the prompts on the device to walk through the process of getting it set up. Let's go ahead and click on next step on the Ledger Live application saying your pin code is the first layer of security and it physically secures access to your private key and your nano. Your pin code must be four to eight digits long. So there's gonna be two key pieces of information that we're going to need to make sure we have written down and stored as uh, backups in multiple locations. That's gonna be the pin code as well as the recovery phrase. So let's go ahead and click on I understand and we're gonna go ahead and set up the pin code. So we have our ledger device connected and let's go ahead and get started. So we need to go ahead and set up as a new device. We're gonna press both buttons to select, choose pin with four to eight digits. Again, pressing both buttons. So now this is gonna to be totally up to you. You can choose any pin code you like. I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up and then come back to you as soon as I've selected the pin code. Okay, so I've went ahead and selected the pin code. I've followed the process to confirm the pin as well. So next we can see on the ledger device, it says write down your recovery phrase. So let's go ahead and press both buttons. Your device will generate 24 words. They are your recovery phrase. So this is your private key. This is generated for you with the Ledger Nano device. So you're gonna have to make sure that this is written down and stored in a safe location. On the actual Ledger Live application, we can see that the pin code has been created already. Let's go ahead and click on next step, saying secure your pin. So we're good there. We've got it written down. And then it gives us the next steps similar to what we saw on the Ledger device. Your recovery phrase is a secret list of 24 words. So we understand we need to make sure we have this stored in a safe location. Let's go ahead and click on next. And it's gonna say, take your recovery sheet and write down your 24 words. So this is gonna be where we'll need to have a pen and paper accessible to write down these 24 words. Looking at the Ledger device, I'm gonna go ahead and press on the right button to continue. It is your only backup to restore your accounts if needed. Write it down on your recovery sheet in the correct order. Press both buttons to continue. So let's go ahead and press both buttons and it's gonna generate our recovery phrase. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a moment to just write down this recovery phrase. After we've written down our 24 word recovery phrase, the next prompt on the device is to press left to verify your 24 words. So I'm gonna take a moment, go ahead and verify the 24 words of the recovery phrase. After we've went ahead and confirmed our recovery phrase, we can see that the next prompt of the device is your recovery phrase is set, keep it in a secure place. Press right to continue. If lost, stolen, or forgotten, all of your assets will be lost. So this is very important. Treat this 24 words like gold. Uh, this is your seed phrase, your private key. You will need this. Even if you uh, lose or damage your ledger device, you can always recover your seed phrase using another device to recover your funds. So this is very important to consider. Never share with anyone. Ledger will never ask you for it. Press both buttons to continue. Okay. And we can see now the device shows that it's processing. Your device is ready. So let's go to the dashboard. The next prompt we see here on the device is to install the app. So let's go back to our Ledger Live application. We can see now we have the recovery phrase set up. Let's go ahead and click on next step, get started. Basically saying, make sure you've got your recovery phrase in a safe location. Don't keep it online either. So make sure these 24 words are not on Google Drive or even on the hard drive of your laptop. Okay, let's go ahead and click on okay, I'm done, get started. Game on, awesome. All right, let's go ahead and uh, answer three simple questions to avoid common misconceptions. This is kind of cool that they've done this. Once you go ahead and answer those few questions, we'll be prompted with this next step. We'll just go ahead and click on continue. And this is gonna check if the device is actually genuine. So this is very important, especially if you purchase the device from someplace like Amazon or eBay, just making sure that it's actually legitimate. Let's go ahead and check my Nano. This is just going to make sure that the device is genuine. It says allow manager on your device. So we're going to press both buttons to allow the manager. And we can see here now looking at the Ledger Live application, everything is good. So the Ledger is genuine and we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and click on continue. Next, we can see it's prompted us with a terms of use update. Let's go ahead and just click on continue. All right, so now this is the main page 
for our Ledger application. Now, the first thing you may need to do, and that's even the case in this instance, you'll need to update the Ledger Live to the latest version. I'm just gonna go ahead and download this update a little bit later. For the sake of this video, we'll just go through the process as it is. Let's go ahead and get started by adding an account. So let's go ahead and click on add account. Choose a crypto asset. So our first crypto asset, we can go ahead and select Bitcoin in this instance. I wanna show you the process of getting this started. Let's go ahead and click on continue. It says checking app dependencies. Please wait while we make sure you have all the required apps. And then it's installing the application. We can see it's loading on the Ledger Live application as well as the progress bar on the device. Open the Bitcoin app on your device. So we're gonna do that by pressing both buttons. Okay, and what it's doing now is it's creating an account for Bitcoin on our Ledger device. So it may take just a few moments for this to synchronize. And then what we can do from here is we can select the network, in this case, native SegWit, and then we can name the account as well. So we'll just choose Bitcoin, uh, and then we'll be able to add this account to our Ledger device. Let's go ahead and click on add account. And we can see that the account has been added successfully. So let's go ahead and click on done. And we can go to accounts on the Ledger Live application and we'll see Bitcoin is presented there and it'll show us our balance for this specific wallet. So that's the process to add the account. Let's go ahead and do one more. Let's go ahead and do add account. And this one is going to be Cardano ADA. So we're gonna click on that. Let's do continue. Simply following the process as we did before. Okay, it looks like the app is now loading onto the device. It says open the Cardano app on your device. So we're going to do so by pressing both buttons. Now in this case, what we have is an update message for the firmware on the device. So we'll need to just go through that process very briefly. Uh, this is a lot of times the case where if you have a new device, it'll either require a software update for the Ledger Live application or the firmware on the actual Ledger device itself. So this is really good because I can actually show you what that process actually looks like. Um, so in some cases, you may need to actually re-enter your 24 word recovery phrase. So just make sure you have that available. We'll go ahead and click the checkbox saying I have my recovery phrase, click on continue, and it's gonna download that firmware update for our Ledger device. So it's went ahead and downloaded that firmware update. We can go ahead and confirm by pressing both buttons. Next we see on the device bootloader mode. Bootloader mode is where the device is installing a firmware update. The device is now asking us to enter the pin. So we're just going to enter the pin for our Ledger device. And we can see now after we've entered in our pin, it gives us a firmware update was successful. What we'll need to do is reinstall the different apps. So we're gonna go through this very briefly. I just wanna make sure that I can show you this process. If you do ever get caught with that, showing that it does need to be updated. So what we'll do from here, it's automatically installing these applications which we had on the device previously. So really nice, you don't even have to go back and reselect everything. Basically everything that was on the device before the firmware update will get reinstalled after the firmware update. So it doesn't take very long at all. You can see Bitcoin has already been installed. Next it's installing Cardano ADA. So that's pretty much the entire process of getting the Ledger wallet set up, installing it with the applications needed to use the different cryptocurrencies. Of course, if you wanted to store any other assets such as Ethereum or XRP or even Dogecoin, you can install the applications on your device so that you can support those cryptos as well. So now that we've installed the needed applications and went through the process of setting up our Ledger Nano device, now we can connect the wallet to a user interface such as the Eternal Wallet to begin sending and receiving funds. Before we go and check out the Eternal Wallet, I wanted to just very briefly go over some of the other cool features of Ledger Live if you decided that you wanted to learn a little bit more. Uh, so at the top, we've got portfolio, which allows us to see the value of our crypto assets. In this case, there's nothing currently in any of the wallets on this device, but you will see that here as soon as you add funds. Uh, next is market. This is gonna be where you can see a breakdown of all the crypto assets sorted by market cap. You've got a nice little chart here showing you the price change as well, as well as the current price of the asset. Accounts, like how we were looking at before, gives us the uh, different accounts which we have 
on this specific device as well as the balance for each of those applications. Discover almost like a news outlet which gives you more information about specific projects. So this is something cool, especially if you wanted to keep up with uh, any of your favorite projects directly in the Ledger Live application. We can also send and receive funds directly from Ledger Live. So like, let's say if you wanted to use one user interface to interact with all the stuff that you have on the Ledger device, then you're able to just send and receive directly from Ledger Live. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but because we are using this device uh, specifically with Cardano, I wanted to make sure we can show you the process of connecting it to the Eternal wallet as well. We can also buy and sell directly from Ledger Live. So this is really cool. You can choose a different provider which you'd like to buy your assets from. You will have to link up a payment method such as a bank account or credit or debit card, but it's just a cool feature. If you didn't wanna go anywhere else, you can use Ledger Live as well. You can swap assets, basically just giving you the ability to interchange the different assets which you have on uh, your device. Another cool thing that Ledger offers is a card. Now this is something that they are still implementing. It's not available in all the different areas such as the United States. Currently it's available in the UK. But what this allows you to do is spend any of your assets which you hold on Ledger just using a simple debit card. So just to mention that, something really cool that Ledger offers. And then if we click on the laps option, we can see my Ledger gives you a overview of the different applications which you have on your device. You can click on apps installed and we can see that here. We've got the capacity of the device as well as how much has been used, the number of apps, whether or not the device is genuine, we'll see that blue check mark. And then we've also got the version of the firmware on the specific device. So lots of cool stuff here in Ledger Live. I think it's great the way that they've laid out their user interface, very seamless, very easy to interact with. So now that we've gone through that entire process and shown you a little bit more about Ledger Live, let's actually go to our eternal wallet, which is where we're going to go through next to connect the Ledger device. Let's go ahead and click on add wallet. In this case, we're going to add a hardware wallet. We're gonna click on Ledger next. This is gonna give us the ability to add accounts. For this tutorial today, we're simply going to choose one account, but the accounts would give you the ability to break up your wallet into different sections. So like, let's say for instance, you wanted one wallet that would be delegated to multiple stake pools. You can do so by separating the wallet via these accounts. Uh, so let's just keep it as one today. Let's go ahead and click on save. Please unlock your Ledger device and open the Cardano app for proceeding. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to the Cardano application on the device. I'm gonna select by pressing both buttons. We can see it shows now that Cardano is ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on next using Eternal. And we can see that it picked up the wallet right away. Uh, if it does prompt you to connect, you'll just have to select the device and click on okay. But in this case, it picked it up right away. Wallet name, we can choose anything we like. I'll just go ahead and choose Ledger Nano. S, that looks great. Let's go ahead and click on save. And it says while it's being created, very fast process, very seamless to be able to do this. Once you've got the ledger device set up by creating the recovery phrase and entering in the pin, using Ledger Live, we can now use it with a whole host of different other wallets, uh, which give us the same security benefits of the cold storage, but just a different user interface. Uh, seeing as we are going to be using this with ADA, this also gives us a breakdown of the rewards history. We've got a token list with a nice user interface for us to be able to see those different assets, especially great for NFTs. So very cool. Now that we've got the Ledger Nano S set up using the Eternal Wallet. So that is pretty much the entire process. We went through creating the recovery phrase for the Ledger wallet, getting it set up as well with a pin, making sure we have the recovery stored in a safe location, and then getting it connected to the Eternal wallet to be able to send and receive assets on the Cardano blockchain. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Another great way to help support the creation of this content is to delegate to Kaizen stake pools. Join us for our next episode of the Cardano 101 course, where we'll learn how to stake our ADA to a pool and start earning passive income. I'll see you there.